So if you've done any affiliate marketing or heard about it, you pretty much know you need an affiliate link to track your clicks and figure out and actually get commission from the offers you're promoting. Here at ClickBank, we call that a hop link. Why? I don't know. <laughs> People hop through it, I guess. It's an old term. But anyway, we're gonna figure out what a hop link is, how you can leverage the most out of it, and most importantly, how you can not screw it up and lose out on commissions. I've seen it happen. So let's dive in. We're gonna go into the ClickBank account here, figure out how you can leverage it um, to find your hop links, get and actually use them on a deeper level than a lot of people do. Um, yeah, so let's dive in here. I am in this ClickBank account, and who is that handsome devil? Um, but if I am an affiliate getting into this account, this is the main dashboard. For me to go find an offer and get a tracking link, it is simple. It is as simple as going to the marketplace here. Right, now I'll just click search, just to get the general population. Um, I'll just make a few filters, because let's say we're in December recording this, I want to find some physical products. I want to make sure they have upsell flows. Um, and I want to make sure that they have a affiliate tools page, that way. I know I can actually get resources from them. So if I start going through here, these are all physical products now. I'm gonna scroll through a Trump gold-plated coin. That's uh, timely. <laughs> and then, okay, Patriot Wholesale Club. Um, I know them, let's use them as a good example here. So really, if I have traffic for them, and I know, you know Patriot Wholesale Club, the Costco of survival, physical products in the survival space, this sounds great. I've got a, let's say I've got a survival blog or something like that, I'm gonna hit promote. Whoops, had to adjust mics there, but we're back now. Okay, um, so yeah, I click promote, and now I am in this section, which is where I can build a tracking link for the Patriot Hustle Club offer. So you'll see that it autofills in the nickname, my ClickBank account nickname that I'm logged in as, the Boise Sandbox. Um, and I can put an optional tracking ID here. A tracking ID is just a way for you to kind of like segment traffic if you needed to, right? So if I was gonna say promote through an email list and on a blog post, I could have this be email list or blog post, right? Um, I'll call it affiliated for now. And then they've got a number of different offers and pages I can promote. Let's see, we can generate top links. And down here, it's gonna spit out a encrypted hop link I can't promote. So let's just see, let's just actually see what this is. <laughs> okay, um, uh, yeah, that could sell itself, I'm pretty sure. We'll pause that video. Um, a shock wave torch, so it's a taser-like flashlight. That's, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> Uh, but maybe that's a little too aggressive or something. Maybe I don't want to promote that to my list. So I could just, you know, I could jump back here. And then let's say, let's see what else I got. Visible night vision cap light. What's that? Okay. That's cool. My dad would use that when he's fishing and it's getting dark. <laughs> um, that looks sweet. Okay, we'll promote that. So I can just select this. It clears out because now it's a new offer. Generate hop links. And here's my uh, tracking link down here, right? It's kind of encrypted. Um, but what I can do now is plug this into my browser. And look at that, it took me right here where I was going, but now it took me through a hop link. Um, and if I click on my redirect path tool, which I highly recommend, if you're doing any kind of online marketing, this is a great Chrome extension to use. This will show me all the redirects I went through, right? So I can say I went through a hop.clickbank.net. Went through a few of ClickBank's kind of stuff until I landed on this page here for the Patriot Wholesale Club. And that looks pretty good, hop equals Boise Sandbox. Now, a mistake a lot of people make is they will go to this page after they generated a hop link, and then they'll copy this or something like this into their browser thinking that's or they'll copy this from their browser thinking that's their tracking link. This is not a tracking link. This is just the end result. It has all the different parameters that everybody needs to track everything through. Um, but this is not a tracking link itself. A hop link, a tracking link through ClickBank should always look like this, hop.clickbank.net. If you don't see that on the link you're using, it's likely not a tracking link and it will not work. So that's 
if there's a big takeaway from this video, that's it. Make sure that hop.clickbank.net is a part of that track link you're using, and it's got the correct uh, nickname for you in it. Now, a way to test and make sure that it's working is actually go and pretend you're going to buy the products. So I'll just keep that default, and I want the five. We'll call them stocking stuffers for next Christmas. Now I'm on the ClickBank order form. And if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see this little section, affiliate equals Boise Sandbox, the account I was logged in as where I, when I generated the link, dot affiliated, the TID, the tracking ID I used. So now I know it's working and tracking correctly. Um, this is super important to just kind of click through and make sure that's working because that's where you'll kind of catch a lot of things if the redirect path tool isn't making sense. All right, so now I know that's working and I could promote with confidence knowing that I'm going to get sales for this and get commission for the sales I drive and not miss out on anything. <laughs> um, if you've missed out and broken this kind of thing before, let me know in a comment below. I've seen plenty of clients do this, new people to ClickBank do this. They'll drop a link in that they think is a tracking link and it isn't. Um, now, if I come back to, excuse me, the hoplink generator here, sorry for jumping around like that. Um, I can select any of these offers I want to promote. I'll just need to generate a new hop link here each time. Now you'll see this is encrypted, right? We kind of hide everything here. Um, but if I go back to the marketplace and actually highlight Patriot Wholesale Club, if you look in the bottom left of my screen now, you'll see the zzzz.totalpat.hop.clickbank.net. Totalpat is the ClickBank account that Patriot Wholesale Club is selling these offers through. ZZZZ is a placeholder for an affiliate nickname. So knowing this, I can go actually to clickbank.com slash tools. And there's actually a hop link generator here as well if you know these kind of metrics. So I know that Boise Sandbox is my affiliate account. I know TotalPat is the uh, nickname for their ClickBank account. Um, I, let's say I just wanted to promote the, sh the flashlight. I'll do, and I can generate a hop link here. And now we can see kind of the un unencrypted, the normal one, right? This is a generic, you know, HTTP, non-secure, no real reason to use a non-secure if they give you a secure. Um, so I want to use this one where I can see affiliate equals Boise Sandbox and vendor equals total pad. So this will take me to their generic or not, excuse me, not their generic lander, but to their default lander, which is the torch. So it's probably their best seller. So that's just why it's going to this one. So that is how you can kind of tie things together. So that's where if you're in the wild, right, and kind of see someone, let's say you see, you get an email and you know it's an affiliate offer and you click on it and it goes to a ClickBank page. Um, if you find the vendor's nickname, you can go kind of find them in the marketplace. You can search by nickname in the marketplace and it pulls up their listing. So if like, if I go, to the marketplace now and search for Total Pat. Those will just populate their Patriot Hustle Club here. So that's where like a lot of people hit me up, right? Asking like, hey, is this offer on ClickBank? I want to promote it. Where if they know how to find this and say the pay link or the tracking link, they can find it, put it in the marketplace, and find all the information they need. Um, so now in this marketplace too, I just want to highlight something. So they, Patriot Wholesale Club, you know, has these multiple sales pages that you can promote to, which is super helpful, right? They've got a number of different offers I could promote to. Great. So I can kind of test different ones directly from the single, from the same vendor, um, and everything like that. Most offers do have this, but they might not be doing it in a way that populates in the marketplace like this one is. So if we come back to the marketplace, let's clear the search. Um, let's promote research. If I click promote here, right, there, it doesn't give me any other options. I can just generate my hop link and it spits it out and it'll go to their default lander. But maybe it's like, well, I don't, maybe I don't like the default lander, right? Um, let's go to their affiliate page here with the link here. I can see that research, right, they're actually doing the same thing that ClickBank does at the tools page, like with this generator, but they're just doing it for their own offer. So I'll put in my ID here. Put in the tracking ID, um, I want to go to one that has um, no autoplay on it for some reason. I'll go to the terms of service, make sure that I'm not going to break anything of their terms of service. This is 
researches terms of service, not ClickBank. So let's, let's, you know, I want to make sure that I can actually operate with this, right? Make sure I don't use any images that they own. Um, I can't make any social media pages that look like them, right? Okay. So like, make sure that I'm not going to do anything that will get me in trouble by research and then generate a secure one HTTPS because why not? There's no reason to use a HTTP if you can't. And now I've got my tracking link here, which you'll see is just the same exact format that the hoplink generator was kind of using here, where affiliate equals voice inbox and vendor equals this. Again, hop.clickbank.net, hop.clickbank.net. All your tracking links should look like this. Even the encrypted ones we saw generated from the marketplace Right. Oh, excuse me. Even the hop links we're generating from the marketplace have this in it, right? Hop.clickbank.net. This should always look like this. Um, I like to use the non-encrypted ones because then I know that I can just look at it and see that my um, ID is correct and their vendor ID is correct if I know what it is. So that's why I like to use these instead of using an encrypted one from the marketplace. But the, obviously the marketplace ones work perfectly um, if you generate from there because they generate it from when the marketplace is logged in. I just know if I get a link from somebody, like if the offer owner is giving me a link, I like to just kind of test everything like we've been doing by going to the checkout page, looking at it. Boise Sandbox affiliated here. And then the last way to kind of confirm, make sure it's working is to go back to your ClickBank account and go to reporting and analytics and view the reporting as an affiliate. And I'll actually see the total pat hops or clicks here, right? Two clicks. Because every time I load, um, every time I generate in the browser, every time I put that tracking link in the browser, it counts as a click. That's kind of what a click quote unquote is. It's that redirect or that hop. Oh, maybe that's why they call it a hop. It's a redirect. Okay. <laughs> um, and then it also she like I, I can see like the initial order from impressions. So where I actually generated here, or excuse me, where I actually came here, that's what generated that order form impression. So I know it's working and tracking and I can promote successfully. Um, so this is in a nutshell, right? How it's working. So leave a comment below if you have any more questions about tracking links on ClickBank or hop links in general. If there are any um also, I'd love to hear if you've made a mistake like this and kind of want you to rectify it, if anything, because it can be you know, a big bummer. Um, I've seen people right, lose out on thousands of dollars of commission before they catch the mistake and they're wondering why sales aren't coming in. It's because they used an incorrect tracking link. So this is super important to understand just the, kind of how it works, even if it's not the sexiest topic and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I'd highly recommend checking out the clickbank.com slash tools page where you can find this hop link generator from. There's other related links all about hop links, different parameters you can use and all kind of good things like that. Um, so again, please check it out. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe for more affiliated videos that come out every week and happy scaling. Cheers. Bye -bye.